Hi, I'm Richard Curtis. I work for Adobe here in the UK and I look after the digital imaging products, so Photoshop and Lightroom primarily, but also the Creative Cloud and the workflow for photographers. Today we're going to look at 3D painting inside Photoshop CC and I'm going to show you how um, painting has been improved for 3D models inside Photoshop CC with the addition of uh, GPU acceleration on the paintbrush. Now just make sure the brush is selected. There are multiple options on the, on the brush. We just need to make sure that we're painting on the diffuse layer and you can see that in the properties panel on the right hand side. Um, and we also need to make sure we're painting in the uh, texture paint system rather than the old projection system. And you can see that on the properties panel as well. So the first thing to do is pick up some colors we're going to paint with. Now I'm just gonna to go to the swatches panel here and I'm gonna pick up a, uh, a swatch that I brought in from Cooler actually that I took from the iPhone and brought it across to the, uh, the Cooler website and then download the swatch and import it into the swatches panel. Now you can see by zooming into the model, we're able to get much more precise and much more control of where we're going to paint. You can also see as I move around the model, uh, on the model itself, the crosshairs on the mesh will appear on the other side as well. So I can see exactly where I'm painting. And you can see here that I can paint on either canvas, either directly on the 3D model with a brush or actually directly on the mesh. And that's all GPU accelerated, so it's nice and fast. So let's just focus on his eyes and then we'll focus on the whites of the eyes and then we're going to focus on the eyelids. We're going to use a bit of Premiere Pro Magic to speed this up um, so you're not getting bored as you're watching it. So we're just going to press the V key, grab the cage and just pull our model around and paint the other side of the model. So you can see we can very quickly move to the mesh and find the exact location of the mesh and we can paint directly there if we want. We can zoom in and zoom out using the command key on a Mac and the plus and minus, or on a PC that's the control key plus and minus, zoom in, change our brush size and get exactly the pixels that we need so we're not painting in and out. Now, I'm not an artist, um, so my, uh, my skills are very limited, but hopefully you'll get the idea. We're just gonna change the color now to a green color and we're gonna paint his eyelids. Now we just need to paint the rest of his body, so we'd choose a different green and just paint with a big brush around the other areas. You can see there's large masses there, so we can actually paint very, very quickly. Just a quick check to make sure we've fully painted Roger. We'll turn him around and just make sure we've painted all areas and double check there's no, and there's no gaps. You can see there I can zoom really closely into his mouth. I'm just gonna paint black in there as well, just to provide a little bit of contrast between his lips and his mouth. So the final piece is to put Roger into position. I'm just using the V key and just using the navigation controls on the 3D model. And then we're just gonna put a white background in and then save that as a PSD. Um, I've uploaded that to Creative Cloud as well and shared that on the links on the blog. So you're more than welcome to uh, take that off and have a look how that's been done. Um, so thank you very much. Uh, it's been great speaking today on this very quick blog post, but I hope you found that useful uh, and tune in for more soon.